I hear what you're saying, but like a well placed leg kick can like easily preheat the oven to 375, 400. Yeah. Sorry about that. What's up, everybody? Eric here, Tabletop Haven, coming at you with another Kickstarter deep dive. This I hear what you're particular saying, but like a well Kickstarter like was kick on like my radar roughly the oven to not at all. So. Yeah. When I saw a live Sorry play of all What's four up, of these everybody? games, Eric here, tabletop I thought Haven, to myself, hmm. coming at you with another interesting deep dive. I watched this all particular the majority of all four of them to an extent, radar, roughly, and not was at all. Kind of intrigued. So, so I saw I'm going to do this play with a backing on a budget in mind. I thought to um, myself, and we're going to hmm. look at it. So I know a little bit about each I game. Like I said, a playthrough. I don't have any idea. The majority I haven't looked at the page four at all. I know nothing. So I'm going to give a little bit of like my guess of, of what the cost is going to be. So I'm and do this with we'll, we'll kind of go from there and we'll see worth. Not um, in my opinion at, for me. So obviously these are always for me about because each game. like I said, a play. I don't have just any the way life idea. Is. And I tend, I, I operate on a budget, I know so, um, so I look at Kickstarters with like that in mind, my and guess kind of the cost what is going to be availability in the future, things like that. But we'll talk about that as we go through. We'll kind of go. So I'm going to we'll kind of ignore the not, in my backers opinion, in price right me, now, obviously, and, and for me how much it's earned. And things the way looking at the games that I saw played, I operate on a budget, small box card games. I look at Kickstarters with that in mind. Small to medium box, I know. Chomp, I guess, potentially could be things like that. But we'll talk a little bit bigger box, mind space with markers. kind of ignore. realistically, there's smaller ish price right now. Card games, and so much it's earned. And my thought process is probably small box, twenty bucks a game. So then. If they come at you with a, oh, here, buy this bundle, could be maybe 60 so they get you at that, like, $15 per game but price point. Realistically, they're smaller-ish. Um, uh, that's kind of where my brain's at, and then, so, like, 10 to $15 for shipping. Is probably so, we will see what that game. goes. I'm not going to watch so the video. I don't tend to watch the videos. I'm not going to do the oh, math right now. 1,800 backers, 131,000. But let's take a look. Okay, so this is by Board Game Tables. Um... Well, that's kind of previously known as board game like tables. Now they're called all play. So here shipping. You go. Board game tables is now so all play. We will see nineteen bucks each I'm not watch for four small game boxes. I'm not going to do the Big math right now. Okay. Backers, so they're saying nineteen but each. I don't know if that's take a look. separate okay, so this or is if by that's board game uh, tables. well uh, as a bundle. Board game tables. That, puts, that, that comes in at seventy six for the four now all play. Upgrades and expansions. You get bucks free if you buy the four game, game bundle. Big experience. Uh, so you okay. get seven so the Chomp expansion. Each. You get Chomp upgrades. Separate. You get little dinosaurs uh, and things. You get uh, sale upgrades. So pieces. That, deck, that comes at fancy dice. Fancy markers. Maybe upgrades and expansions. Um, you get three D cities free and foil if you magazines. Buy the four game bundle. I mean, the expansions uh, so are what they are. Some not chomp expansion, like you get chomp upgrades. Forty-eight dollar value. You we'll get see. Little okay. Dinosaurs and things. Simple to teach. Sale upgrades. Strategic so depth. pieces. I have four hours shipping dice, from the United fancy States. Fancy markers, All right. maybe. So um, let's see. Chomp. All right. So here is my gut reaction to chomp. And my gut reaction to chomp was it point salad with like more going on. I am fine with points. I own point okay. salad. I like to bust Simple it out for a quick and easy Strategic game every depth. once in a while. Chomp looked more interesting than point salad. States. All right. Chomp, um, it has that same Let's aspect where you're chomp. either taking a tile. Right. So here's my gut um, reaction to slash chomp. card. My gut reaction to chomp or was it point taking salad a scoring with more going uh, up. I scoring objective over the course point, of the game point you get salad, I like nine of these tiles quick and either to build into your tableau in or to chomp use as a as an end game salad. scoring chomp uh, um it has that same aspect end game scoring taking a tile way to score um, um each tile has hard. four or potential things on it the big dinosaurs uh, take up two scoring objective uh, there's these the little game, nests that do eggs then there's medium dinos and there's tiles. small dinos to that build into your are like half a tile each. To use as a, they as each want to eat scoring, the herbivores uh, which are the yellow ones want to eat the scoring. plants 
Uh, and then um, each the tile has carnivores, which are the red ones, one of the things on it. The big dinosaurs. I think it's these little two. fish ponds or uh, whatever. There's these little nests um, and eggs. Then there's medium dinos. And there's now, the nice thing about this that, is you can uh, overlay. Like half a tile there's also these tar pits, which they automatically kill your dinosaurs. But you can overlay ones, cards on top the of them so you could put like this um, grass covering this tar pit carnivores, and build it out how you want. But there's also end game scorings where you get points for tar pits. So. It's just um, kind of how you want to do it. Now, um, nice it does seem interesting. It seems overlay. like I would enjoy it more than something like point salad just because there's a little bit more going on. You can on. overlay cards but I need on the top of them. Upgrade so you tokens, put, like, not this necessarily. Grass covering this tar pit. Uh, right. And build Here it out is Sale. Sale. Uh, uh, cooperative trick tape. Trick taking so game. It's just kind of how you want to do it. But it's only two player. It's a two-player um, cooperative trick. It seems I had never played like Fox and Forest Duet, so I like can't compare it to that, but I believe that is a cooperative I need the trick-taking two-player game. Not necessarily. Um, but again, I uh, don't right. have a reference for sale. that. I've never played sale. it, so uh, I can't compare it to that. I can compare it to the crew, but game. that's obviously but very it's different two as it it's two is player more built for more a higher player count rather than two. This seemed interesting. This is another one that kind of was like trick-taking two-player game. Get into that. Seems um, cool. Like, but again, each card I has a symbol on it, depending on what symbols that. are played. played it, different things so happen. There's like Kraken, and you have to defeat the, the Kraken. He's That's trying to eat your ships, but you're also trying to travel across the ocean. So there we go. That was too. Sail. This seemed, Artwork this on Sail is pretty awesome. Um, I don't know the artist on there, but good stuff. Couture. Couture is kind of a bidding slash set collection game. Now, here is my potential problem with this one. I really the like ocean. the theme. I think so, that's super cool. There go. That was um, sale. However, on sale there's is strong awesome. intimation that, that uh, Comic Hunters Couture is, is kind of potentially a coming from as a Dice Tower now, Essential from Arcane Wonders. The implication mm, my was, well, Tom said something about it being really an essential like game and cool. not to stress because um, it was in uh, um, Mike Delisio's Top 100. Intimation and then uh, that, uh, Comic Hunters they talked about don't worry about it not being available. Hopefully it will be soon because it's an essential game for people. So that kind of leads me to believe Wonders. that they're trying to get the it implication via was, that. Well, Tom said something and about it being an essential honestly, game. And maybe time-wise this one will be able in, to uh, be played Delicio's quicker, but like Comic Hunters then, uh, looks way more of my alley. There's a variety available. of bidding. Like, be soon it's but an essential that being said, so this looks like a quick, cool little bidding set that. collection the way everything and works out honestly, it seems pretty interesting maybe time so, wise this one would be able so to there's that be one so that's quicker, like but like comic hunters three out of four that would likely get played mind way space more up my alley there's variety uh, of this is like, uh, but kind of, that being I don't said, want to say rolling right flipping like right um, cool essentially you have a board set collection the that way everything works is out. flipping right it seems that pretty you're going to be putting these so, different um so there's that one so that's polyamino like, shapes on and Three out of four that would so like to get played. Mind space. If you want to draw this shape, it can only be drawn in uh, purple. This is this shape can only be in uh, orange. Kind of, this one can be either pink right, or green, right. and this um, one can be blue. Essentially, you and have then a each color has a different way of scoring. So right. orange, you want be different orange different, um, shapes on your board. Polyamino that being said, on, so just like specific numbers. If you have five so orange shapes scattered around, you're going to get the maximum. If you want to draw the shape, it can only be drawn in purple. Um, the same color cannot ever touch each other. So like you could put an orange here. Orange Blue. here and orange here, and then each color has a uh, that is against the orange. rules so of the game. You want but the different I, orange the, the quote unquote on your theme of this one being of being said, like in so your brain, like, like this is your number. brain you and you have gray matter around, inside your brain, and so that's kind of fogging up like um, where you can put things. And ever touch I, I don't know, whatever. So it's like, you could the image here and orange here, here. But the like again, the mechanisms like seem really clean, really smooth, and. It, it does of this seem one, interesting. Like in your brain, like so that's your another brain, one. Like all four of them, I can legitimately say, I so like small box games, up, like, and I can legitimately say, in, I, I could know, potentially whatever. see. Themage. Where would this one? Um, so this one, but the like um, again, the mechanisms like it's a little really bit combo tastic. Really so, but it's not to the extent it, of it like Super Mega Lucky Box. I own Super Mega Lucky so Box, that's another one. and like, I own Cartographer. This game seems kind of like I like small box games. A weak amalgamation of both of them, but could potentially you have see. the um, where would this one? You have the so shapes this one, of Cartographers. Um, 
and then you it's have a little the bit combo different kind of so, scoring and chaining that you can get of, like, with Super Mega Lucky. Uh, Super Mega. So, so, Super Mega Lucky but then there's also like objectives you have to meet. So this game points. seems kind of like it's points game. A weak amalgamation it seems, of both of them. But it seems decent. You have the, so um, like all four of them the are legit. Like of could cartographers be, could be, a and thing. then you have. The so here we go. Here's Chomp scoring uh, which, chaining. So now we're going to talk about a little more in depth. Uh, I'm guessing. So, but then there's also like eat or be eaten. Are you ready to feed some points. dinos and stop them from chomping it's each other? The air of dinosaurs is here. It Form seems, herds of dinos and make sure they're all fed. So herbivores like and carnivores both need food, but legit. Like but the carnies are not properly fed. fed. They won't mind chomping on chomby to fill um, their bellies. So now we're gonna talk right. About a little more so if you have carnivores next to herbivores, be eaten. Are you ready? If the carnivores don't have a food source, they'll eat the herbivores. So herds of dinos. Make sure they're all. That's another little interesting thing. It's a quick game. Food, you get eight turns. Make the most of them. Every card in the game has a point. So you start with one tile in front of you. So ultimately you'll end up with nine right. cards. But you start with so one in front of you. If you have carnivores next to herbivores, so you're either going to get to use the, the landscape or you're going to do point source. Goal. They'll and that's it. So we kind of talked so, about that. Um, um, that's not really interesting going on here. It's a quick game. It seems interesting. Make the most of one dry erase marker. That's so the you start with end one game scoring. You, so ultimately you'll end up with nine cards. cards. Dinos on one side, goals on the other. One so dry erase score sheet. To egg tokens. Or you're going to do extinct dino goal. tokens. I think these are probably cardboard. So kind of if you get the um, upgrade, it's going to be. The epilepsy going on here. It'll be wooden or something um, like that. It seems interesting. Latest edition. One dry minute teach line. I think that's kind of one scoring. minute. I think you could teach it in a minute. Cards, like, dinos maybe not all the nuances, but the other in general. Dry expansion, new sheet, goals and tech tokens. Flyers tactics. and scavengers expansion. If you do eight new cards, cards getting secret goals for each player to complete. Be, maybe you they'll be wooden. Maybe you must keep all your dinos alive. Maybe they all need to be extinct. One minute teach line. Something else. I think that's Great kind of twist. Like, one minute fresh. You could teach it. All right. Chomp is a brand new game. Maybe not all the nuances. Clarence Simpson. In general. I expansion, am new goals and tactics. Not the best at designers at this point, new so cards. I don't know what goals for each player to complete. Uh, he has done maybe component you, upgrade, turn your tokens into chunky dino dinos. Live. Maybe they all need to be extinct. Fine. Or perhaps fine. Something else. Great twist. Eggs, flyers, press. scavengers, and dynamite. Right. Whether you're in Jurassic brand new rotation period, dino. be ready for dino size upgrades. They replace all the cardboard with wooden tokens. Not the best. How to play? We kind of talked about it, but this is each player builds their own dino land. They draft uh, either dinos or goals, upgrade, and then they build herds dino to complete your goals to score points and feed the dinos. Eggs, flyers, scavengers. Why we dino love it! You're in More dinosaurs. Patient Choose your goals. Your covering cards. They replace all the cardboard with wooden tokens. Uh, How to play? I like the covering card aspect of it. That allows you more dino flexibility. Land. I always like that. They draft either dinos so there we go. That's Chomp. Interesting. I think it's an upgrade from Point Salad for me, at least. Score points. Sale. Dinos. Two players, 20 minutes. Quick little Why? We love it. trick-taking game. More Strap on your eye, patch, and navigate your ship covering through turbulent cards. waters in this cooperative trick-taking two-player game. Uh, Reach the end of the dangerous like deep the end and avoid taking damage from the Kraken to win the game together. So there we go. crew will be sleeping with the fish. I think it's an upgrade from Point Salad for me. We're each going to play. Sail. Two play players, tricks until one of you wins four tricks. As you play, while following suit, you'll attempt to play cards with icons that pair with what your partner plays. This Playing the special icon pairs game. allows you Reach to move your ship deep end or fight the Kraken. Damage from the Playing kraken icons that form the wrong the kind together. of pair makes the Kraken attack you. Hopefully you can get on the same page with your partner. The thing I do like about this one play. is at the beginning play of the, every round, you get to give play, suit, your partner one card from your hand. Your so you can kind of set, set yourself up icon pairs uh, you potentially to move your ship pretty cool that or way. Fight the kraken. Playing uh, icons five rounds, wrong, and then kind of that's it. The Hopefully you can get on Here's the, the components. Your looks like a lot of cards. They got a board. There's these modular tokens. I think that's give. Island tokens and Kraken tokens, I think. These get placed out on the board pseudo-randomly-ish, I think. But it is modular, so uh, apparently they five rounds, made this game it. before, or a prototype or something, components. and it was printed like on a lot the board. Of they got a, a board. And There's so these, um, modular tokens these allow you a little bit of flexibility if yeah. like you can put them Island in Island tokens places. and Kraken tokens, I think. Weberson Santiago, I think, is the artist pseudo randomly that, uh, ish, I think. But it is really, modular, really so apparently they um, made this game before, or... Be surprised with how much you pull out of such a small box. On the board. Yeah, that's true. 
and so uh, um okay so yeah up here you can see here's like the different symbols places. that you play if you play uh, weberson santiago Kraken or a cannon and depending on what your partner plays you get different things the mermaid tails really, blah 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 really so different combinations um, give you different things new powers and map configurations to the expansion so it gives you a little bit of extra uh, uh each pirate okay, so power yeah, here and then a little bit of like customization to the play. board you play a which is fine component Kraken upgrade cannon and depending on what your partner plays you get different things the mermaid tail 3d blah, blah, blah. with these amazing meeples. so different combinations exactly give you different sure meeples are four powers and your ship i don't know the expansion so it gives you a little bit so, of yeah. oh okay i see Extra, so uh, each pirate power that, that looks that actually little looks bad like that was too busy for me i'd rather have just the cardboard the component pieces there just my it's personal fine. opinion, though. <clears throat> so, there's the tokens. There's what the. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. What are for. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> I am perfectly fine with the little so, yeah. hardboard okay, bits. So, How to play? Follow trick taking rules. That looks Choose a scenario. So bad. obviously like, you lead. The person has to follow if they I'd can. Just the cardboard. And then uh, there. steer your ship by controlling which player wins the trick. Though. Play cannons to so, attack. If you token, play a tentacle, a... it will attack you. Yeah. Ah, like, I don't know. Reach the end in less than five <clears> I'm hands fine before the Kraken sinks your ship. Cardboard bits. How to play? Follow trick taking. Cool. Choose a speed. yeah. So it's another one. Seems cool. Couture. This one might be then, the one uh, I'm most ship, excited slash interested in. Play cannons to attack. Um, play every play a tentacle is pirate. You. Ah, oh, that's that's up there. Okay. Couture. five hands. Twenty minutes. Three six players. Yep. It plays quick. It looks quick. Uh, fashion model. Cool. Yeah, it's another one. Seems cool. So you Couture. have New this York, Paris, and Tokyo Fashion Week. You're sending out um, agents, are they in. called? What are they? Yeah, um, agents. Um, pirate. Oh, that's, that's up there. Okay. And Couture. that kind of gives you minutes, three, six players. Yep, it plays quick. It bidding power that you can uh, then acquire these other um, fashion cards so you that are part of New set York, collection, Paris, Tokyo allowing you to you're sending earn out, the covers of um, magazines agents, and get points based on yeah, if you're the agents, first one to do that or um, have the most of a certain thing. So it's a very simple kind of gives you uh, bidding set collection. Bidding power that you can then acquire. So if there's ties, other, um, so like if you both bid four in New York, there's little numbers on the cards and the lowest number the covers of gets priority. Get points so it's very clean, very simple that, system it seems like, and it seems thing. interesting. So it's and I like a very it. simple so, uh, bidding That set is that. That one is interesting. But I said, so, like I said before, ties, like, realistically, so like both I would get in Comic York, Hunters over this. But they could fill different niches because Comic Hunters is... I think a little so more involved, so you're not going to get to the table in 20 minutes, like, and it most likely, whereas this one you might actually like be able to. So, so that is something that. to think about. That one is interesting. But I said, like upgrade, I said before, you get like, fancy 3D skylines and foil printed cover magazines. But I really they don't could fill different niches about because that. Comic Hunters is how I to think play. a little more seven involved, turns, three so simultaneous actions per turn. You're going to bid in each city to determine picking order where it looks you like. So, if, for example, you're the only one who bids anything about. in Tokyo, you get all the cards in Tokyo. You get so fancy that's something to think about, too. And foil printed cover I love it. Fashion development. Really don't care about that. How to play. Seven yep. turns, three simultaneous And then mind turn. space, you're gonna bid the final city, one. Determine picking it's kind of flipping right, one to five like. players, 30 if, minutes. If, for example, you're the only one who you're just matching in Tokyo, you get all the cards in The color Tokyo. of the die so with the too. appropriate polyomino has to go on your board and somewhere. Box. And then you're working to fill the different sections here. So you see there's five different sections. Yeah. And then mind you get space, bonuses when you fill a section. One, it's kind of there's a money right, aspect to the game. minutes. I'm not really sure where that ties in, but it allows you to have some flexibility with your with numbers and your colors of your dice and things like that. So, has to go on your board somewhere. Breathe in, breathe out. Achieve serenity. Mind space is a thoughtful game in which players, sections, thoughtful sections, game in which players are trying to seek calm and peace. You get bonuses by adding and pursuits to their brains. Each pursuit there's is a money by a aspect to the game. Of a certain color. I'm not really Purple, sure where that ties in, but it allows you to have some flexibility with your numbers and your colors and your dice. Romance, blue, self improvement, and green finances. Breathe in, breathe out. Fine. So there you go. So there's why you get money. Is a you may find it's hard to believe, but each color has a thematic score related to that type of pursuit. To their brains. Believe it. Is represented by a I believe in you all play.
purple. Five pursuit polyamino cards are available each round. You roll five dice to assign colors to those shapes. Along Pink. the way, you can earn points Blue, by drawing green shapes and green finance. Completely filling in sections oh, of your brain. There you go. So there's why you get twelve rounds. The game scored. Green finance is hard to believe, but each color has a thematic uh, score. That doesn't seem like a high scoring game. I think like 18, 17 it. points was like the. I believe but that's okay. So again, it's another play. quick little game. Here's the different each round. possible symbols that could come out. Here's some different goal cards. By drawing green shapes. Then you have the shape cards. Filling in sections of your brain. Everyone has 12 uh, rounds. The game scored. Five dry erase boards. Doesn't seem like a high-scoring game. I think like 18, five dry erase scoring. Is like the, the one, okay. not frustrating Again, thing, but like little game. the marker, the there's only one of each marker color, so you kind of got to share. Here's some like three people uh, want to put cards. a pink one of these the down. Shape cards. You got to kind of just wait. Has, uh, nah, that's okay. Five dry so. erase boards. Component upgrade, huge right, 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 brain right. dice, and a second set of markers. One, okay, so there you go. Frustrating that's thing, but like that's probably the, marker, the biggest. Only one of each marker. Color, the dice, so you eh, got whatever. Shape. I don't actually like. Three like, people want to put a. Pink those are kind of annoying. One of these, but down. set of markers. Got to kind of is good. Just wait. Nah, that's okay. How to play? We talked a little about how to play. Component upgrade, one, huge that brain there. dice, and a second. Pick one of these, you have to either draw so blue or that's, orange in that particular shape. Probably the biggest. The dice, eh, well, dice assign I'm colors, like, choose activity, and place achieve kind of life goals. And but set of markers, scoring your points. Good. So, how to play? We talked a little about I, how to play. Like, pick that one. I wish there. this was not. I noticed this when they were playing. I wish this wasn't negative scoring. Shape. You could just very easily make it. Little dice assign colors, like, choose activity, and place achieve reverse. Goals. Like you get different things, scoring your points. Zero, so. one, two, three, four, five, or whatever. I like, but actually, it looks like I those, wish like, if you don't get blue like, this like was a big number when they're playing. I wish this wasn't so, negative scoring. You I don't know. Just very easily make a different it way. I don't like negatives in games. Like, like reverse. But I guess like you get. Uh, oh, this Zero, one might have one, been the two, one that three, actually was four, a higher five, scoring one. Four, so whatever. maybe it's not as bad as I thought. But especially like but negative actually, points in like a lower scoring like game, like a, like this one might have been a higher scoring. So, so might not be that big of a deal. I don't know. Why well, we love it? Scoring. That's different the way. I don't like negatives Hobbies are more fun like, when you do them with friends. So purple or friendship scores guess, two points for each square next to orange or hobbies. Uh, oh, this one might have been the yeah. one that actually was a higher scoring okay. one. So maybe there it's we go. Bad Videos as I play through schedule, but especially like negative points in a live play. scoring game. That was good. That was, might have been that was good. So it might uh, not be that big of a deal. It was surprising love it. Scoring, that like every single game they played out, I was like, huh, it's interesting. So pretty good. Friendship scores two points for each square next to orange or hobbies. Pledge tiers, 1999. Yeah. All four games okay. plus expansions upgrades for seventy six. All right, play. so one twenty four. It, was, it says. It was good. It was good. Uh, but that's also because oh, surprising also with that like every single game they played out. I was like, oh, what huh, is this? Oh, this is a different. Be good. Thing. All right, and uh, okay. Like, pledge tears. So one twenty four. All four games plus expansions upgrades. And I think they said the expansions were. They were saying right, you so allegedly got like. Four. It says. Forty-six dollars off or something that's like that. That's also because for oh, free. All small games with expansions. Oh, yeah. and, uh, what is this? Oh, this is forty-eight dollars free. All right. Um, okay. So forty-eight bucks. So One twenty-four. I think they all right. Here is where budget brain comes in. This is where Eric's budget got, brain like, factors things in. Forty-six. Forty-eight dollars for like you're paying forty-eight dollars for the expansions, free. but they're saying that that's free. Oh, okay. okay. So forty-eight dollars. Nineteen bucks free. a game. Is seventy six dollars so forty eight bucks, and then the forty eight uh, is indeed all right. Here is where budget so seventy six dollars is, is just Eric's straight up nineteen dollars per game. Thing. So forty eight, like I said, around twenty. I thought they might the give you a but they're saying that discount. Pledge nineteen right. or more for sale. So, nineteen or more. Nineteen, 19 more. bucks a game. Seventy six for all. So you don't get any discount, and but then you do get the, the forty eight all expansions is and upgrades. Free. So seventy six dollars. So the only way you get the expansions up upgrades by buying all so, of them. Like I said, around so, twenty. I thought they might. And then I think it was four dollars for discount. shipping. So it's eighty bucks. So it comes up to twenty bucks a game. Sale. Nineteen or more. Nineteen or more. Seventy six for all of them. So you don't get any discount. It's not bad. But you do get twenty bucks a game. Is not all bad. expansions and upgrades. Question is, so it's the only way you get the expansions and upgrades by buying all of them. So. And then I think it was four. If they come retail, so it's eighty bucks, so it comes up to twenty bucks a game. They may or may not. It's not bad. Um, twenty bucks a game is not. What are these bad. other ones? 
question is. Okay. Oh, so here's yeah, here's Chomp. If they come retail, dandelions. Which, um, they dandelions. May or may not. Let's look up dandelions by um, all play. What are these other ones? Okay. Oh, so here's yeah, here's Chomp. Do 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 do. Dandelion shopping. Can you get it? Um. Dandelions. eBay. Let's look up dandelions by BoardGameTables.com for for hundred and or for nineteen dollars. But I don't see that you can get it at like a. Do, 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 doesn't seem like it's shopping. retail it. available. So eBay. my thought is, if it came out retail, I could probably get them for twelve to fifteen or for nineteen dollars. In which I case, you could pick and choose. Get it at like and be at sixty. A... Doesn't seem like it's retail. I don't know. Available. This is what I'm gonna have to think about. So, Eighty bucks. My thought is, if it came out Eighty dollars, I could probably get them for games. twelve to fifteen. This is the one I would say I'm most interested in. Couture. In which case, then probably Chomp. Then Sale. Yeah, then Mind Space. So Couture. I don't know. This is what I'm gonna have to think about. Eighty bucks. Like the upgrades are really the upgrades I won't even use for sale. Eighty dollars. Chomp having extra cards games. is good. Couture having Couture this is just is like fancy stuff. I'm most interested in. Don't care. Couture. Mind space. Then the markers. Chomp, whatever. Then sale. So like the expansions that you're getting space. for free, quote unquote. So Couture. Um, it's like the upgrades are really yeah, the upgrades I won't I don't even know, use for sale. As like super Chomp having excited extra about cards that. is good. Couture but having, Couture is just like fancy stuff. I don't think care. mind space the markers whatever. I'm leaning so like the expansions towards that you're getting for free quote unquote. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty torn on this one. 80 bucks. 80 dollars is what I'm looking at. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not um, as like super excited about that. So that would essentially take but, up most of my monthly budget I think for this set of games. I'm leaning towards... Uh, I don't know. I don't know on this one. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm pretty torn on this one. 80 bucks. $80. Think about it for you, at. I guess, how you feel um, about that. 20 bucks a game. So it's not a bad price. It's definitely not a bad price. Most of my monthly uh, budget. For I mean, your small box games. Games are generally around 20 bucks. Uh, so I don't maybe know. 15 if I don't know lucky. on this one. <clears throat> so the fact that these are all coming in at Think twenty dollars with I the guess. extra stuff upgraded that? bits. Twenty bucks is... a game. It's not a bad price. It's definitely I definitely not a bad don't think price. it's a bad deal. I think it's probably a good deal. It's just a question of box. do I have other games, games already around twenty that bucks. So will fulfill if you're lucky. these uh, so the fact that places in my these game are all coming in at twenty dollars uh, with the extra stuff upgraded. Yeah, I place bits on the shelf is... for them. The small boxes are nice. But I definitely don't think it's point a bad salad. Deal. I think the it's crew, probably a good deal. It's just a question potentially of comic do I hunters have other games already and that I, I don't know. I probably just play cartographers honestly these, over my space, uh, over mind space because I like cartographers a lot. Uh, and if I wanted a simple one that I could potentially yeah, just I pull out, shelf for them. super Small mega lucky box. Nice. But but uh, point salad. Yeah, I don't crew, know on this one. I am I am potentially pretty. Comic hunters, I'm pretty torn. I'm certainly not going to back it I, right I, now. I probably just play cartographers. I think there's like honestly, three weeks still space, left. Over mind space. There's like yeah, 23 days. So I have three ma three weeks to make a decision. A simple one. I, I think I'm leaning towards super mega lucky box. Not. Uh. But yeah, I don't know on this one. I am. These two I'm look really pretty. Fun. I'm pretty torn. Really I'm certainly fun. not going to back it right now. I think there's like, and this one potentially could be really fun, especially there's if you like had another person. Twenty three days, so I have three, make, three weeks to make a decision. I don't know. I'm rambling, I'm but now you can see how my budget brain works, not, and how I process through things, particularly crowdfunding things, kickstarters, really game founds, and like that. Really this is the stuff that's constantly running through my mind. Okay, can I get a retail? This one if I can't get a retail, or if I can get a retail, what am I not getting another from the Kickstarter? What am I missing I'm out on? I'm rambling, but is that now you can see X how my budget brain works and how I process and through that's things. That's generally how I factor crowdfunding things. If it's not available retail, like that, this is the stuff that's constantly okay. That I need to back mind. it on Kickstarter. Okay, can I get a retail? Is a if I can't get a retail, or if I can't get a retail, what am I not getting um, from the Kickstarter? 
what am I do I need it on? in my collection? Is Will that it worth X number of dollars? Uh, and will it have a place? Generally, how I Chomp would probably in. just straight up get rid of Point Salad. Okay, then I need to back it on Kickstarter. Point Salad, I can probably sell for is a ten bucks. Word. But if it's not going to be available Couture, in retail, Couture again, like um, I said, Comic Hunters is where I'm going to go at. My collection? Will I hope it, I hope that's the right name of it. I think uh, it's Comic Hunters. Will um, it have a place? Is the one I'm thinking of. Chomp it's like would a Brazilian just straight up and it's super late. Of limited Brazilian release, but point salad I could price. Um, Mind space I like almost have tour, not tour zero again, interest like said, in, Comic but Hunters is pretty I'm minimal. At. And then sale. I hope, I hope that's the right name of it. I think it's. Comic this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I'm gonna have to come back to. Um, is the one I'm thinking. Maybe like I will. Uh, release, maybe like I'll do another video, Brazilian but release, probably not. But um, um, but maybe space, in another video I that like I talk about Kickstarter, I'll let you know if I ended up pulling the trigger, or I'll do an unboxing of them if I ended up getting them whenever they sale. show up. When are they supposed to show up? September this is a tough 2023. One. This is a tough one. Six I'm going to come months? back to. Maybe I Seven will. Uh, okay. Maybe I'll. So this year they should get another in. video. Makes but sense. Probably not. I feel like they should be able to hit that. Um, but maybe in another video they're probably mostly already produced anyway. Ended up pulling the trigger, um, or I'll yeah. do an unboxing. Okay, if I ended up so getting, there we go. We have the all play board game tables, months, four months. groups, four games, four small games. Okay, so this year, small they boxes, big games, unique experiences. Sense. I feel like they should be able to hit that. I mean, Fairly honestly, like, honestly, these three, like, anyway. yeah. Well, I have 23 um, days yeah. for my okay. brain to process so it there we and go. see we if it's worth the majority of my play board game tables, monthly budget to. Pull the trigger four games, on four this. small games. Since I did, small boxes, I don't know if I mentioned games, in the Andromeda's Edge video, I did end up I mean, backing honestly, the deluxe like, because I was looking more into like, it. The deluxe yeah. has the well, wooden components for my and um, the and game trays. Worth the majority and of my and the uh, monthly budget. First, the solo experience all built into the box. This. And the extra Since wooden did, components are not for the, the like Andromeda's edge resources. Video. They're for like extra I stuff. Up so I don't even need to get those. So I might get the nine dollar add on for the, the gameplay. But realistically, and, I'm probably just going to do the deluxe. Trays. So I'm thirty dollars over budget on that one. So those thirty dollars, I'd still be box. minus ten. And okay, extra. You don't need to know all that, or you can if you want. But yeah, that's the way my budgeting brain works. So, I, I don't know if this helped you out at all, gameplay, but, um, but realistically, that's how I talk through things. Lost. That's how I think through things so when I look at I'm Kickstarter pages over budget on a on budget. So, those $30, but yeah, these two look fantastic. This one looks you don't pretty need good. To know all that. Or pretty you darn good. But yeah, and that's the way my budget is fine. Brain so, works. Yes, I think 20 so bucks, I don't know 20 bucks per game, I think, is a real good deal. Especially if you don't have something ready kind of. On you can, a budget. Oh, I could just yeah, play that. I could just play that. Fantastic. So, this one if you want to jump on something, good. twenty bucks for each of these pretty games, I think good. it's going to get you a lot this of gameplay, is a fine. lot of table time so, between yeah, these four. I think twenty bucks, bucks. Twenty bucks per game. So, I think that's is my thoughts on that. Uh, real good. Thanks deal. for watching. Love you. Keep on keeping on. Have, have fun out there. Kind of um, and we will talk to you next time. Bye. So.